and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name is John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine and hopefully help you find the wine you absolutely love, if not the wines you will love. So, part three, we've had two lovely Carmenets. Car... no, Cam... 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 Carmenet. 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 Yeah, that's what I say in your option. Carmenets. Carmenets. Yes, we've had Two of those, and we've got the third one coming up. Yes, we have. And what's different about the third one? Um, again, different producer, and we are actually, it's a different vintage. We had 2015, 14, now 2013. 2013? 2013, yeah. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Teenager. You. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you. <laughs> well, let, let's have a go. Let's have a go. No, obviously, the, no, I, I keep <laughs> saying that, but it's not obvious. We're thinking 2013, I would think 2013 would have more depth and complexity. Yeah. Lose the tannins a little bit. Yeah. And have a little bit more richness about it. When you say 2013, remind me, is that when it goes into the bottle or when it's poured into the barrel and then it's bottled afterwards? I think, I'm pretty sure you're saying that's when it goes in. No, I think it's when it's been picked. Because it's, it's, it's only a small time before it's been picked and then going into there. So yeah, I would say when it's harvested. When it's harvested. When it's harvested, that will be the area. Okay. <coughs> Not when you've picked it off the shelf. No, that, that's a different thing. Okay. A different picking. This is dark again. It is dark. It's all consistency between all three, very dark. Yeah, yeah. And this has got more, more to that ruby colour as Rather opposed than to. Mauve, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. And just look at mine. I'm looking yeah. at yours again. Good colour, yeah. That nice. You always look at mine. I know, I know. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> so, so we've got the nose. You, go on. Yeah, I was going to say this. The similarity between number two there is there is not yeah. as not as potent, but there is that same sort of uh, as you refer to it, the Pinot Noir smell. Yeah, that, and you know what? And that kind of rot, rotting vegetables, which yeah, it sounds horrible. It's not quite like that. But it's not near as you can get to it. But you know, what I've just on smelling that as well, which is just which I've just got is a tobaccoish. Tobacco is. Remember what I, was, I, I said on, on the camera they remind me of a Rioja. Yes. And that's what Rioja has. Rioja is to, like, okay, tobacco -y. Leather. Leather. Yeah. Well, see that? And it's, it didn't have the oak. It's the tobacco in there. Like fresh tobacco. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I'm not sure whether I'm imagining it because you've told me it's there or whether I can really smell it. You say? It says with confidence. I've got a whiff. I've got a whiff of it, I think. Uh, it's gone again now, though. Wait, <coughs> right. Okay. So... Can we have a taste? Yes, we can. Okay. Well. <laughs> oaky. Not oaky. <laughs> I don't know why you keep saying that now. <laughs> mm. um, I'd say... Again... Better for my palate, better than number two. Mm -hmm. It's clean, refreshing. There's quite a lot of fruit there. Mm. Not quite as soft as the first one we tried in part one. No. I'd have to go with you on that. For me, the black currant has come back. But the tannins are quite apparent in this one there, and they are quite big. <coughs> it is big. The part is bold, as they would say. Do you know what I think? I think when you said bold there, do you know what I think this would really go with, with food? You did sort of like, you were talking about sort of winter stews. I think this would really, really complement that. That would, yes. And I, and I think, I think it needs it as well. Mm -hmm. I think it needs it. I think on its own, that personally, a bit too tannic for me, a bit too much. Um, there's not enough, not enough flavour in the wine to take on the tannins. Whereas if you had it with food, and as you say, stew, oh, now, now you've been talking, that would be, um, that would be, oh, I'm thinking oh. stew now. Oh, you're hungry now. I am, start, I need to make a stew. Or oh, steak and kidney pie. Oh, I'm not a fan of kidney. No? No, no. I don't like kidney sound, not that you're really interested. Here we go, yeah. Sorry. But I like a little bit of yeah. steak pie. And oh, what about suet pudding? Steak suet pudding? No? No? I love, I love, I love a steak pie with uh, blue cheese in there. 
Yeah. Throw the cheese. But I mean, if, you go, if you go ever go to London, go to Rules, right? Oh, yeah. The oldest restaurant in London, and they do a fantastic. So it's steak kidney pudding. It's a steak kidney pudding. It's lovely. I'll try it. It's and I do like the idea of that restaurant. Yes, you love it. I have no doubt, but no. <coughs> in its own right, that is a nice wine. I, I say compared to number two, it's, it's similar in style, but there's a little more about it. You can, mm. We can get the nose on there, you can get the flavours from it. Mm. I think this will be massively helped by food, and I think we're maybe doing it an injustice by having it just on its own. Yeah, I think so. Mm. And again, yeah, we haven't had it open for that long, so. No, no, no. Again, that always helps soften it out. <coughs> the right temperature and a bit of air to it. But no, but getting good, good, not bad. Not bad. Now it comes down to. Okay, well, I'm, I'm using logic here. So we, yeah. we started off at the uh, the young, and that was cheaper. We got, uh, we got to the, the slightly older, that was more expensive. I think this one, because it's older, will be yet more expensive. Um, so I'm going to put this at fourteen ninety nine. Very very close. Fifteen ninety nine. Fifteen ninety nine. We're going to go fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go 50 as well. Again, there's nothing wrong with that pricing at all. Not a thing. But I can't help personally then go and think, out of all the three we've had this evening, number one for me stands yeah. out as, uh, and not, not just a little bit, without being bad to the other wine, again, this is personal, yeah. it stands head and shoulders above yeah. the rest for me. Uh, even if it was just the price, it would, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously. But, but even, yeah, the, I, I agree. The flavours, everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was beautiful. No one's beautiful. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad in any way, just personal palette, for me, that just ticked all the boxes. It showed very, very well, did that. I yeah. showed the Camonet grip. Delightful. That's what, that's what I wanted. Yes. Well, we've done it. Three Carmenets. Mm -hmm. Carmenet. Carmenet. Or Carmenets. Yeah. That's because I'm airing on the side of caution. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Damn, uh, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, I mean, I've enjoyed most of those. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> uh, well, I'm just saying, <laughs> I enjoyed most of them. So did I. Very nice uh, indeed. So, that's us done. There may be a, a little uh, break now for a week or so, but as we go into, Johnny's working seven days a week now. It's come that time of year. Christmas. It's there. Christmas. Yeah. Da, 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 da. And then you want a week's rest when you finish, won't you? Yep, and then, then it'll be into Panto. Panto! Panto season. <laughs> Just like that. Yeah, if anybody is in Brick House and you fancy coming to see the best Panto in the area, We'll be in the world. In, in the world, we'll be performing Cinderella at the Civic. Civic? Yep, at the Brick House Civic. Hey, our lad. In the middle of January. Hey. hey. If, if you haven't seen a British panto, ah, you're missing something. Yes, and Cinderella, of course, being the best. And I'm playing an ugly sister this year. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> I know it's going to take a lot of makeup. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope my voice comes back for that anyway. Let's hope so. Mm. Are you singing as well? Yes. Are you? You lucky thing. <laughs> it's a way off. It's a way off. I've got plenty of time. Yeah? Mm. Only can't wait. should be there before you know it. Oh, no. Anyway, I think this one will be probably just squeezing in either just before or just after Christmas. So if it is before Christmas when you see this, very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, that's the first time I've said it. No, it isn't. Isn't it? You said it in the last video. Oh. We did Christmas drinks. Was <laughs> a drunk by the end of that. <laughs> we did four, we did four, two, <coughs> two pins. Okay. And then we did the, uh, I'm trying to remember now. Oh. I saw. I was definitely drunk. Yes. Anyway, and if it's um, New Year, Happy New Year, Happy Christmas New Year. Uh, and if it's any other time in the year that you're watching this, because it could be June, of course. Um, have a great day. So <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> it's very smooth. Um, God, no, good morning, good evening, good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time. See you next time. Chin chin. Chin chin.